Hey guys, Sam here with Traffic is King and in today's video I'm going to share with you a tutorial on GetResponse uh, opt-in pages. So I use GetResponse to create landing pages for my funnels and I prefer it over Aweber. At one time I was a Aweber disciple and then I found GetResponse uh, Either or is fine. I mean, you can use Aweber, you can get use GetResponse. Aweber tends to have good deliverability rates, uh, but I like GetResponse because they have uh, great they have great tools. They have great tools um, that you can use. Um, they they uh, have a lot of different uh, templates for landing pages that I like to create. So I use them uh, for a lot of my funnels and for a lot of my affiliate marketing. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I use it and how, and just kind of go over the GetResponse platform. So hopefully you get a little bit of value out of the video and um, see if you like it. Let me know if you have any comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. See you guys inside. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create landing pages or landing opt-in pages using the GetResponse uh, platform. So once you log into the GetResponse platform, Click over the landing pages and select create. And the beauty about uh, GetResponse is that they give you so many templates to choose from. As you can see over here, you can select the type of opt-in page uh, that is kind of aligned with the goal that you want. So for us, we want to use uh, opt-in pages, but you can use uh, different kinds of pages that you see here. So we're going to go to opt-in pages and get response gives you a ton of templates here that you can choose from. Uh, what I like to do is I go to the most popular or one with highest conversion rate. So obviously you want to go with templates that give you the highest conversion rate. As you can see here, most of these are theme related opt-ins. Uh, Christmas looks, Cyber Monday, Halloween party, Black Friday. So obviously if you're uh, running campaigns, these type of uh, opt-in templates will uh, perform pretty well because they match the theme and they match the current uh, event that's happening at that time. So, so we'll just uh, choose a template from the most popular and we'll use... Uh, We'll just use this one, Marketing Library. I'll bet at eBusiness Tips. Oh, wait, I think I found a better one. <laughs> we'll use this one here, Video Bootcamp. We'll just uh, use that as an example. So once you select the template, GetResponse uh, I guess, uh, prepares the template for you. So here you can do a lot of different things. You can do your customization. You can see here on your right, you have your toolbar and this is uh, elements that you can add uh, to your uh, landing page to enhance it. Uh, you can take away some different things. So let's just say we want to uh, call it instead of marketing bootcamp, maybe you want to call it something else. So, um, oh, this is an image. Uh, so this is an image. <laughs> I thought it was a text, but this is actually an image. Uh, you can take that image out and uh, you hit that delete button there and that goes out. This is actually text right here. So uh, you can put learn effective marketing tactics from gurus. You could just change that up. You know, if you wanted to change the text, you can change the font. You highlight it here and then you go to the toolbar and you can change the font and use a different font. So we'll use Hello Activa change the size as you can see there um, you can change the how the format of the text looks you can center it you can put it to the left like that and you can also hyperlink it so if you want to hyperlink the text to something else you can put in a hyperlink and I'll show you how that looks like send emails morebusiness.com put link to site and you can choose to open it in a new window or open it in the same window 
you can see there it's a hypertext link and here is your sign up form well this is the most important part that you uh, want to pay attention to you don't have to connect it to anything because it already connects to uh, your uh, your subscriber list or the list that you want to use so if you want to add more elements you can add the city you can add birth date um, but obviously you don't want to have all those elements in your opt-in page because it decreases the amount of opt-ins you get uh, if you make people work uh, and they have to enter in more things chances are they'll you know back out of your your opt-in page so you want to make it as easy as possible I always uh, like to put just the email address and this landing page is already connected, uh, as I mentioned, to your list. So uh, make sure you're in the list that you want to use. Now, if you want to add uh, a video or a picture, so like if you want to add a picture, you know, you can add a picture, you can replace it, or you can edit this picture. Uh, you can add um, a button. So if you want to add another button or change that one, you can do that. You can change the color. So if you double click on it, you can change the color of the button. And there you go, you have the color. Um, you can do all kinds of other things, change the gradient. Um, you can change the image of the button. So if you have an image that you want to use instead of that, uh, the default that they give you, you can do that as well. You click OK. And then you have a new button. Uh, you can add video. So if you want to add video, and you double click on it and here's the link you just swap out this link with the link you want to uh, use to embed and you click embed and your video will be there so you can have the video autoplay or loop however you want to uh, customize it or configure it so we'll get out of that and if you want to delete the video you can delete the video so uh, and there's a couple other things here you can add social media uh, to have people share the opt-in form, uh, which I don't suggest. You don't want to distract people with too many things. You will just want to make it very simple. Uh, landing page, really, you just uh, put in your bribe, your ethical bribe, either a free ebook, coaching uh, a, a course, a free e-course, or uh, a video. Uh, just something that will have your uh, prospect or someone that's going to see your page, uh, give them some sort of uh, incentive to sign into your page so that's what you want to do and you want to make it uh, real simple and easy to digest so that they can opt in all right so once you do that then you go over to your thank you page and here's a thank you page this is a video here um, just like you did on the first page you can change all these elements all right so then you click on I always uh, make sure you always save uh, so that all your changes and everything uh, stays with you when you move over to the next screen. So if you just put save and put exit. And uh, we'll go here. This is the landing page that we created. So we'll just go to uh, edit settings. And then you just call it uh, test landing page. So you give the page a title. So we'll call it test page. Now, this is uh, you know you can optimize this title for SEO purposes uh, because that's what will show on the header part of your of the page, and then just put a little description right there. You have the option of using uh, get responses domain, uh, their subdomains uh, for your landing page, or you can assign your domain to the landing page. Um, so whatever you feel is appropriate, you can use either or, get responses subdomain, or you can use your own uh, subdomain. All right, once you do that, uh, you select which campaign that you wanna use. So that's all your, your email lists and you just subscribe, just choose which campaign you want the, uh, the form to be connected to. You can have confirmed opt-in, that just means that uh, get response will kick back a email telling them are they sure they want to subscribe and if they do click on the link that way you can have a double opt-in I tend not to uh, want the double opt-in so you could turn that off and then you can select whether or not uh, they go into your autoresponder what day you want them to go into your autoresponder obviously I don't have any uh, messages set up 
but uh, say if you have 10 messages, it'll show day one, day two, all the way up to all the 10 messages, and then you can select at what point you want them to get into the cycle. You can use the default thank you page, or you can create a custom thank you page. Of course, we'll be using the default thank you page that we created. And here you have analytics, remarketing. So if you want to use Google Analytics to track your pages and get some more metrics, you can do that. Uh, if you're using AdWords and you're running an AdWords campaign and you want to track how much you're spending to the amount of people that are opting in, uh, you can do that here as well. So you've got a lot of different options here. You can also publish on Facebook, although I haven't uh, done that yet. Uh, we'll probably do a tutorial on that uh, at another time. So we'll hit publish, get response, we'll publish. And now we can see uh, the landing page. So you click on view my landing page online and, uh, and remember we created this, this was a link. So that's, uh, you can see the caption there linked to site. So you can change that. But if I click on this, it'll link. I had it linked to the get response, uh, no, to my main website here. So that's the landing page for my website. So we'll go back and you can see here, we got information. So we put in a email address. Let's just put in an email address here. Uh, let's see, we'll use this one. and click watch now and it takes you to the landing page, uh, your thank you page. So this was our thank you page that we created. So, and get response uh, takes you back to that. So you have built in an opt-in page, a landing page and a thank you page. Pretty much very easy, drag and drop and uh, simple. And that's how you create landing pages and get response. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks for watching guys.